let's say if we have a book resting on a horizontal surface would you say the forces acting on this book are balanced or unbalanced what would you say so let's say the mass of the book is five kilograms right now there are two forces acting on this book there's the downward waste force caused by gravity and the surface exerts an upward normal force. Now, these two forces, they're equal but opposite in direction. The weight force is equal to mg. So it's five kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And if you multiply those two numbers, that works out to being 49 newtons. Now, according to Newton's third law, for every action force, there's an equal but opposite reaction force. The action force is the weight force by gravity. The reaction force is the normal force. Notice that these two forces are equal but opposite in direction. So we could say that these forces are balanced. The reason why there's, they're balanced there's no net force in the y direction. The net force is zero. When you have an unbalanced situation, there's going to be a net force. And if there's a net force, that means that there's going to be an acceleration. According to Newton's second law of motion, the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So when the forces are balanced, Here's what you want to keep in mind. The net force, or we could say the sum of the forces in the x direction and in the y direction, will be zero. That means the acceleration in the y direction is zero. The acceleration in the x direction will also be zero. Now, if there's no acceleration, that means that the velocity is not changing. So the velocity is constant. Whenever you have a balanced situation where all the forces are balanced, these are the things you're going to have. If any one of these things are off, then you have an unbalanced situation. So for instance, let's say if Let's say there's a block and there is a force that's applied to the block. Let's say the applied force is 50 newtons. And we know that the block, or we've been told the block is moving at constant speed. So it's moving to the right at constant speed. Would you say this is a balanced or an unbalanced situation? Are all the forces acting on this block? Are they balanced forces or unbalanced forces? Well, we know the weight force is going to cancel out the normal force. So it's balanced in the y direction. Now, what about in the x direction? Because right now, it appears unbalanced, but we know that the block is moving at constant speed. That means that there's another force impeding the forward motion of this block, and that force is going to be friction. Now, because the block is sliding to the right, it's going to be kinetic friction, not static friction. These two forces are going to be equal in opposite direction. As a result, they cancel each other out, so the sum of the forces in the x direction is zero, which means the acceleration in the x direction is zero, and that's why it's at constant speed. So the fact that the block was moving at constant speed tells you that the forces here are balanced. All right, here's another situation. Let's say a ball is dropped from, let's say, some height h. 
let's say 500 feet above the ground. Are the forces acting on the ball, would you say they're balanced or unbalanced forces? Once you release the ball from rest, the dominant force that's acting on it is the weight force. So right now, this is an unbalanced situation. There's a net force acting on this object. It's in free fall. It's accelerating to the ground. So this is an unbalanced situation. Now, let me give you another situation. Let's say somebody jumps off a plane and releases a parachute. Now, as he falls, his velocity eventually stops changing. He reaches what is known as terminal velocity. When an object begins to fall, its speed increases. But at some point, the speed stops increasing. And at that point, that's when you have terminal speed. In this situation, would you say the forces acted on this person once he achieved terminal velocity? Are those forces balanced or unbalanced? Right now, he has the gravitational weight force bringing him down. But there's also air resistance that is preventing him from falling down too fast. When these two forces are equal and opposite in direction, the net force in the y direction is going to be zero. So the acceleration in the y direction is zero. Thus, he's no longer speeding up towards the ground the velocity is no longer changing. So at that point, that's when he reached terminal velocity. The speed is no longer increasing as he falls in free fall. So this would be a balanced situation. Air resistance and the weight force, they balance each other out once he achieves terminal velocity, at which point his speed is no longer increasing. So in the beginning, once you drop an object, the forces are unbalanced. But as the speed increases, the air resistance increases. And once you get to this point, terminal velocity, these two are equal. At that point, the forces are not balanced. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good introduction between balance and unbalanced forces.